Clappy clappy, just waiting for something to happen. Everything I touch doesn't work as soon as the cameras turn on. Yep, I'd say we give up. In today's video, we're gonna talk about anodizing. So I'm a machinist and I work with metals every single day. It's showtime. Yes, blue chips and greatness. And there's a ton of different coatings out there that you can coat metals with. But today we're gonna talk about one in specific, anodizing. So today we're gonna take a piece of titanium and we're gonna anodize it using nothing but what you see here on this table. Distilled water, copper wire, baking soda, and nine volt batteries. And the cool thing about the batteries is by using different numbers of batteries, you can achieve different colors in your anodizing process. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take some distilled water and we're gonna fill up our anodization bowl. Now you may notice we already have a bowl right next to it that has distilled water in it, but that's all it has. That's just for rinsing the part after the anodize after the anodization. God, that's a weird word. <clears throat> the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some baking soda and add it to the distilled water to create an electrolyte solution. And we're gonna stir that up. All right, now that we have our solution mixed up, we're gonna need some batteries. Now the next thing we're gonna need is a part. And if you were at IMTS, you may have watched me machining these over in the DN Solutions booth. All right, now the next thing we're gonna need is some alligator clips. So we're gonna hook our red cable to our positive terminal of the battery and our black cable to the negative terminal. Now, if I were to take both of these leads right now and stick them in this water, this one would turn brown almost immediately from oxidization. So it would get covered in rust and we don't want that. So we're gonna use a nice little piece of copper wire. All right, so we're gonna wrap our copper wire around our alligator clip here. We're gonna now put this into our part and make sure that we got good contact between the wire and our part. So now we can put this down in our electrolyte solution. And the next thing we need is a piece of metal for our negative cathode. So we're gonna use one of Trevor's nifty little bike levers. All right, so this is all that we needed. Now, as soon as I put this into the electrolyte solution, it's gonna start right away anodizing our part. We're gonna take this piece of titanium, put it down in our solution and clamp it in our bowl. All right, now you may notice a bunch of bubbles coming off of our negative cathode here. And what we're doing is we're creating hydrolysis. So what's happening is the water molecules are separating right now into oxygen and hydrogen. Why isn't it coloring the whole part? Hurry up. That'll suck if this part doesn't anodize right. Everything I touch doesn't work as soon as the cameras turn on. It ain't working, fellas. This is not the results we were looking for. Yep, I'd say we give up. Oh, check that out. It's just beautiful. Perfect shade of blue all the way around. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, nah, this is garbage. So, what happened? The problem here was copper. When we introduced copper to our solution, what happened was the copper started to oxidize and this left particulates of copper floating around in our solution. Those particulates then plated themselves to our part, preventing our part from getting a good consistent color. And we ended up with this tie-dyed monstrosity. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna take our water, we're gonna go dump it out, we're gonna rinse out our bowl, put new distilled water, new baking soda, and then we're gonna try this again, except we're gonna use a piece of titanium as our anode. All right, so you guys may have seen this video Titan did a while back where they made like some brake pedals or I don't know, bike pedal, whatever this thing is. Put our cathode back on here. All right, now we can put our brake pedal in our solution. And we're gonna use another little brake lever as our anode this time. All right, you guys ready to make some magic happen? I'm blue, da boom dee, da boom dow. All right, let's see what it looks like. Ooh, nice consistent color. So we'll rinse it off and voila, anodized titanium. Now something that I wanna mention is that this is type three anodizing. So it only gives us color. It's not adding any kind of wear resistance or corrosion resistance but a lot of companies use this type of anodizing to color code titanium objects. Now here's a super interesting fact. When you look at this part, you might think that we just changed it to blue. Well, that's not what actually happened. What you're perceiving as color is actually an interference phenomenon that's caused by the... 
So what you're seeing here and what you're perceiving as color is actually an interference phenomenon that's caused by light coming in and bouncing off of the oxide layer and light coming in and bouncing off of the titanium underneath that oxide layer. When those two light beams interfere with each other, what you get is the illusion of color. Now, by linking a different amount of batteries together, you can actually achieve different colors here so you're not just stuck with the blue like we did on our bike pedal. Now, I love how simple this process is. So if you make some cool little part or a cool little knickknack or desk ornament in your own shop, you can take just the supplies we have here, anodize your own part, and then post it on the CNC Expert so we can all be blown away by how beautiful it is. Now, if you don't know what CNC Expert is, it's our online platform for machinists by machinists. You can go on there, you can show off your work, you can go get certified, you can find vendors, find employees, find jobs. So if you haven't been there yet, go check it out and I'll see you guys there. Now, if you guys really enjoy what we're doing, you can become a member by hitting the join button down below. And this is gonna give you access to exclusive content like this. This is me before I eat the one chip challenge. Don't touch, don't touch your face. Oh. Yeah. oh, that was the girl, you're that right. Ah, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Is this how you pick up chicks? <laughs> You'll get cool badges by your name and you'll be able to join our Discord server where you can chat with me and the guys. But if you guys like this content, please let us know in the comments down below. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time. Hey, somebody come clean all this up. A little bit for you. A little bit for me. Whatever. Oh. Woo. Spicy.